More importantly, the Pope is uh, stepping down. I, what are they doing over there at the Vatican today? It's uh, all over our TVs. Around. I think they're carting him around. He looks pretty healthy to me. Yeah. If those are live pictures, he looks pretty fucking healthy. He looks pretty good. He doesn't look like uh, John Paul did at the end of his life. My God, John yeah. Paul was like, he would look like a Man. melting a melting person. Just a croaking fucking monster. <laughs> it's so obvious something's coming. Something yeah, is agree. coming, but you know, and they wanted him out immediately before yeah. whatever hits hits. His brother, something with his brother might be happening. I heard something with his brother. Really? That was yes. uh, his brother was involved in some kind of a sexual. This is what I heard uh, that, oh. that the Pope covered up when he was when just as when he was Cardinal Ratzenberger before he got got his red shoes and his fucking new title. <laughs> his, wow, do I dislike this guy? Yeah. His ruby red shoes. Ugh. Yeah. Three times and go home. I heard something with his brother too. I mean, what are we yeah. allowed to say? Yeah, hey, you watch. could speculate uh, uh, well, up the ass, well, uh, we if, and uh, that might just be it. I have an insider that's been writing me. You want me to read what he he wrote me? Okay. Is this we could do this right? Yeah. He goes. Uh, I'm not going to give his uh, his Twitter name. Uh, he he writes some damaging abuse shit is going to come out about the Pope's brother. Oh. And uh, the Pope covered it up before he was Pope, so he had to resign because that's now coming out. You think? That's what this guy's saying. And I, so then I kind of like pushed this guy who, who's who's credible to begin with. So I pushed him a little bit, and he he writes, uh, "That's what I'm hearing." Uh, I'll just say this: uh, someone very close to me, meaning this guy, uh, was one of the three attorneys in Boston who negotiated the $85 million abuse settlement uh, a few years ago. So mm -hmm. this guy is very close to, you know, hmm. one of the lawyers that was involved in that. Uh, and then I wrote him again. And then he wrote, the Pope supposedly has a boyfriend who follows him around everywhere. So I, I told Ant that this morning. I thought that so was as we're funny. as we're watching the coverage, we're trying to figure out which one it is. Which one in the Pope mobile is the boyfriend, you know? You see him driving around, you see some young bucks in there, maybe he's got a chippy. That's where that That's where the guy loses me a little bit because I, I don't I don't know how you cover up having a boyfriend if yeah. you're the Pope living at the Vatican. Yeah. Explain Pretty how the how you could do that. Pretty easy, probably. They all because everybody know like you don't you're probably not probably, not probably making out in front of mm. people. He's a close aide. The Pope probably can have alone time with anybody he wants. Ooh. Close aide to discuss you know, it's probably someone that legitimately works with him. Right. I wouldn't shock me at all. You look at this guy, his mannerisms. John Paul, I didn't get that vibe from at all. Yeah. This guy, from the minute, from the minute he started yapping, I'm like, this well, seems like a gay man to me. Well, the ruby red shoes. Could, uh, could you find the ruby red shoes there, Sam Roberts, please? Uh, please, I beg you. Uh, well, we'll see. I mean, he lost me on that a little bit with the boyfriend. But, yeah. But you never know. But just what a fucking horrible organization. Look at his shoes. Look at, him. <laughs> Man, look at these It shoes. really is ridiculous. That, that's, <laughs> look at these What kind shoes. of shoes are they those? They protect pedophiles and bash homosexuals, and that's what the guy who runs the whole organization walks you around in. You would swear those are girl shoes. They are. You would swear those are women's shoes for an older woman. They really do kind of look girly, right? It's embarrassing. I mean, you could almost say, no, they're guy shoes, almost. But, man, they, they certainly look like... Old lady shoes. <laughs> Your holiness. Oh my God! Look Ugh. at these shoes. They <laughs> look so stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> oh God. Uh, this is my religion by birth, man. It's embarrassing. It's yeah. just terrible. Well, I hate organized religion. <laughs> just not a fan of it. Is that a real hat, Sam? Or is that a joke? No, no that's his. That he wore that red hat too, man. The hat. Look at the hat. It's like, a Pope hat. <laughs> he looks like Brando on the island of Dr. Moreau. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad, man. he That's an old lady's hat. Yeah. Yeah. For, for, from uh, one of those clubs, the Red Hat Club or whatever oh, it's called. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Those I women that, that have the, go out with the red hats. And they hang out and do some red yeah. hat shit. Red hat. They all go and, uh, t you know, take in a show and then take in uh, lunch somewhere. Red hat. Yeah. <laughs> So the coverage is all over the TV. They're just kind of carting him around in the Pope yeah. Mobile right now. And then tomorrow's his last day, right? Enjoy. Uh, tomorrow, yeah. yeah. It, but we only found out about this two weeks ago. Yeah. They are g pushing this guy out quick. Yeah. They're just giving him the heave-ho. <laughs> yeah, Pope, Pope, uh, goodbye, 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 goodbye. <laughs> so the then door. what happens? Something hits, and then they go, well, look, he's not the Pope anymore. 
Um, and they're hoping that'll help uh, yeah, the situation. I don't know how that works. Or, or does anything situation have to do? Or does it? anything ever come out? Um, was there a backroom deal that was made saying, "Look, we'll be cool if you get rid of this get, fucking get guy." Out of there, oh, maybe because we're all religious people over here, and this Jeez. is fucking hurting everybody. So you know, we we're going to release this shit unless you get rid of him immediately. That would be kind of fucked. Maybe, up. and then that means we never hear anything. Yeah, because that backroom deal shit happens all the time. Maybe they said, get rid of this fucking ghoulish old lady. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when you were a kid, you couldn't picture talking bad about the Pope. Like When no. I was a kid, I oh couldn't, God, I couldn't no. picture, a, 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 feeling zero respect oh, for the, for the office. You, would be, you. you were scared that you would go to hell or something. Yeah, you thought yeah. this was a special guy. Right. In a handbag. A loving guy or right. a, a special guy. And then he's just not. No. I told that, you know, now having kids and stuff, I... I go to church a little more than I used to because, you know, there's this and that. And, you know, you got other family members that, you know, might believe more and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, it's a balancing act. Yeah. And uh, which I t fully uh, accept and understand. But uh, every time I see a priest, though, I, I, I just ugh. You get the heebie-jeebies. There's not one priest I've seen in the last, I don't know, I've been going to church more, more, not a lot, to be honest with you. But mm -hmm. in the last, let's call it five years. Every time I see a, a, the priest, I just get, just, ugh. I almost want to go get a shower immediately. A little creeped out. They're all creepy to me at this point. Black yeah. priests or don't gross, white priests gross me out. For some reason, I don't associate the pedos with anything really? but white priests. Maybe just because I haven't seen enough of them. Every face I've seen has been a white priest who's done. I'm sure there's plenty mm -hmm. of the other, Asian or black or Spanish, yeah, but I right. haven't seen them. Right. So there's awful uh, atrocities. A lot of minority priests, I see. They don't creep me out. As much? No, because I don't associate them with the pedophilia scandal. Really? Because I haven't seen enough of them arrested. Like, I've, I've only seen white faces attached to the scandal. So that's right. I see these white priests, I'm like, oh, you fucking creep. And then I go way back when I was, you know... Just an innocent boy growing up in Centerport. I wonder about our pre oh, priest. Oh, please. If he was molesting, you had to be first on the list. Oh, no, no. I don't mean it like that. <laughs> I just <laughs> seen your little plump bottom running up the apple tree. <laughs> but he was so trusting, our priest, and you just wonder what really was going on. Yeah. Was our priest clean? There had to be some clean ones out there, right? There's just something that goes along with not um, getting married, not having a relationship with women. Uh, that you're just you're you're pulling your priests from fucking a uh, a crop that already has an issue with sexuality. Yeah, well, it goes against human nature too. You got yeah. you got the urges as right. a, a, as a man as as a man as a, the urges. as a woman, and and you're basically told to ignore those urges. It's impossible. Just a man. Name's Fred. Are they allowed to jerk off at least? No, you're not supposed uh, to. No, you so can't not, spill that's that ridiculous. fucking precious seed. That's, that, that's impossible as a human. Even Nagel doesn't waste the fucking Nagel seed. Right. No, he baggies it up and he oh, sells yeah. it on eBay. Takes that shit home with God, it. He called it Golden Loads. Unless they castrate these guys or something, it's impossible. Oof. So, of course, you're going to have problems. Yeah. You know, Other religions, they allow them to marry. Do you know what priests I like? is priests I met on sober retreats. Like, those guys who were recovering, uh, they would, I would listen to them speak. Really? And, 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 but they would talk like everybody else I knew who was recovering, and they would tell stories. Uh, be, they were honest. They were just talking about, you know, being drunks, and uh, some of them would talk about having sex with girls. It, it was very interesting to hear them talk as recovering. I remember one guy telling hmm. a story about how he was conducting a wedding and he vomited on the bride. Like, there was some really <laughs> funny <laughs> shit. Wow, That's, really? Yeah. That's pretty fucking bad well, like, right there. Like, every dumb drunk. Like, it was very, right. very entertaining See, when, I, when you hear these guys be human. I can't even imagine my priest growing up uh, being drunk. <laughs> can't even imagine it. I'm, I'm sure they were. Yeah. I'm sure a few of them were. Yeah. A lot more than you think. And then, a lot more. I mean, just the, the guilt you have a uh, growing up Catholic. Can you imagine being a priest and the guilt you feel knowing you banged abroad or you're drinking or you're jerking mm. off or you're, God, you're touching a little boy? Oh, imagine dear. that guilt you have to deal with while, while you're falling asleep at night. Oh, dear. When all that shit plays in your mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when the that. day is done and you're laying there by yourself. Looking up at the ceiling, <laughs> looking at the crucifix on right. the wall. Oh, man. I can't even imagine having that type of guilt. Holy fuck. Do you think they have the guilt, though, man, or do they just wash it away somehow? I don't know. Mm. I, I think you have to. I'm sure there are some that certainly just wash it away. Deep down they have Or do they to. go to but one of their friends and get absolved? I'm talking about the guys that they absolutely feel it. You know there's some guys that they're like, fuck, I, you know, I'll 
I'll, deep down, I'll, I'll touch a hundred boys and it's not even going to fucking bother right, me. Right, right. One iota. But there's definitely guys you got to think they're mm -hmm. <laughs> they're feeling some brutal guilt because they're <laughs> falling asleep at night. And they've given a bad name to a lot of. There's a lot of good people, obviously, in the church, and a lot of. Like they do so much charity work and they do a lot for the poor. This, you know, the majority of Catholics and Christians are very good people. Yeah. It's just the the organization itself. It's not about the people that I mm. get so irritated. It's yeah. this part of the organization and the way they've handled. If they would have just outed and, and had these pedophile pigs arrested, I would have tremendous respect for them. Yeah, yeah. and I'm sure there's a bunch of guys that really want to speak <clears> out, <throat> but you know, they're scared. You know, they're, tr they're trying to protect. The religion itself at this point yeah so what did, what do you do do you make this huge announcement you know it, it really makes your organization look real shitty <laughs> I was, you know who's brought this church to their knees to us lawyers right mm. the only way to fight this is where lawyers are actually really good just fucking soak them for that gold dude the fucking lawyers are the yeah. only thing this is where you have to stick up for the lawyers are the mm. only recourse we have yeah and I tell you, you know, they're going to pick an, a new pope, and this is impossible, I know, but they got to get a real young guy in there. I think that would that would help. I don't think they so ever see, do you know, that because no, they I don't know, want I know. someone to have that power for that long. But you, you know, you see these old guys, and and you just feel like they're all connected to it somehow, yeah. in some way. They all know something. Yeah, and it, yeah, and it yeah. seems like the younger guys, you know, they're starting to clean it up a little bit where at least you can't get away with murder. <laughs> so a younger guy probably isn't as connected to it. Maybe. Yeah. But that's not going to happen. You're going to see another fucking old guy another old coming forward pope. in a couple weeks. Old fossil pope. <laughs> yeah. Did you um did you hear how they picked the new pope? Like how involved it is? No, well, you got a bunch of the bishops there, right? And the cardinals, cardinals. I mean. Cardinals and then they but uh, they vote and then they have to put their vote on um through a needle onto a string. Did you? Oh, how did they, do it? Shit, they broke it down like... on the news the other day and it, it took I think it took about ten straight minutes of them explaining how they do this. Yeah. It was pretty fascinating. All in favor, say aye. <laughs> <Bring Sam's laughs> up. Yeah. aye. But just to make I sure, bring on the boys. <laughs> just to make sure that there's not double votes or anything. Everyone's vote goes through a needle onto a string so they could all see the votes. Oh. And then they pick guys to be the committee to, to, to count the votes. And then wow. if that vote doesn't give you a, a new pope, they start all over again. But they get a new committee to count the votes. It's really that is pretty fucking, complicated. Do you, yeah. know, because do, you, do you have the steps? There's probably been some issues over the years. Like 500 years ago, there was probably one that got in there. Like, I don't, we don't know what happened. A bunch of hands went up. And the right, next thing right. you know, there's 10 dead cardinals. And that guy's elected. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> But the whole process was pretty fascinating when they um, explained it about a week or so ago. I should have wrote down some of the other things they mm. do, but it's, uh, yeah, it's not just a quick vote. When yeah, is this huh? happening? I don't know. They start right away, right? I think so, once, once everybody gets there. So who's the pope in between popes? They got a uh, vice president pope? Do they have vice pope? They got a VP? Yeah. They got the, the Joe Biden of the Catholic Church? Or a speaker step of the in? house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaker of the house guy. They're calling this pope now uh, emeritus pope. Emeritus. emeritus pope. What does that mean? I don't know. Because like, they haven't had to you know do this that many times. Right. So uh, that's his title now. Huh. He still has a title. He still gets to wear uh, all the clothes. The pope clothes. Right. But he's not, you know, the pope. Where does he go? He ain't no fucking pope. Where does he go? He wasn't planning on going to some villa on a mountainside somewhere. Mm. He was planning on dying in that place. Yeah, where does the Pope go? So now go where does he go? He's been fucking, you know. How does that work? Kind of not shunned, but yeah, yeah. Close uh, enough. I, you know, this is one of those situations you hear it all the time where we accept his resignation. Yeah, but it's like in the in the back room, you you sat down and they go, okay, you <laughs> uh, you can yeah. you can leave on your own yeah, with a little yeah. pride, or we're gonna fire you next <laughs> week. Yeah. It's up to you how how this ends. Well, it's like a radio statement they put out. Uh, the Pope uh, for different creative endeavors. Yeah, exactly. All that bullshit. The he probably doesn't <laughs> want to leave. Why would you want to leave that gig? Every every moment of your day is taken care of. Yeah, unless he felt it would be better. Like I know what's coming. Maybe you were right, dude. There might have been something back door, like some oh, kind of deal saying, "Look, get this fucker out of here." If, and... if you get him out, then uh, we'll settle down. I don't know. We'll settle see. down. We'll see. It just seems obviously for everyone uh, listening, it's extremely suspicious. Yeah, it is first time in six hundred years. 
Yeah, something's up. Something big is up. Something's up, yo. Mm -hmm. I hope they like to Black Pope. I hope it's that guy do from Ghana. Ghana. Yeah, I do. What's with you? Because they've be <laughs> because they've never been one. And yeah, there's also that doesn't necessarily mean good. But look what the look what look where they've gotten like. Look at the what's happening now. Mm -hmm. A Black Pope couldn't do any worse. And there's in they're in so many third world countries. Mm. It's like what they've been going into third world countries for all these years. Why not? All right, have anyway. fun. Let's make everyone black. Let's just do that. Uh, everyone in any hey. position of power, just make them all black. Because uh, 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 certain uh, cultures that are, are run by uh, black leadership and, and black majorities have just done so well over the globe. When you look at exclusively black culture around the globe, it's always just so successful. Well, maybe not. But when you look at the fact that the, the big the popes, Catholicism is now mm. looked at as, as a child fucking haven. Like, there's no way they could have done a worse job of handling this. Yeah. They, if they came out with kid fucking videos, it would have been more respected for the honesty of it. <laughs> well, they, like, this is where their best thinking they, got them. Billions yeah. of dollars yeah. in lawsuits. Yeah, they tried their best to just uh, cover up the whole thing. And they've paid out billions of dollars, and it doesn't even hurt the organization. No. And mm. as much as black... Which is, a, which is pretty amazing to me, because it's supposed to be about helping yeah. helping your fellow human being, and, and they're holding on to a shitload of money. A and, shitload. I, and I was scared to tell you about uh, black leaders when I went to the circus recently. Yeah. The ring leader is now black. Is he? Yeah. All right. That's cool. Yeah, what are you going to do? Well, I, 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 <laughs> blacks are, are not perfect, but let's be honest, they're not associated as much with being pedophiles as white guys. All right. There's no way to get to a fucking... No one looks at a black leader and thinks kid and, fucker. You might think other things, but you don't and, think kid fucker. That's not typically what you think. Sure. And uh, when you want to see the Pope Mobile all pimped out, let's be well, honest that would with be, each other. Right. That would just be all amazing. Right. I, I could only I imagine the type of rims on that. Now, I, that, I, I'm i with you. That there. vehicle, all right? <laughs> for a comic, that would be a dream come true. No Black kidding. Pope. Black Pope would be pretty good. Yeah. for. But it would be almost hack. Thing. What yeah. I said is hack. I do know that. I know that joke's been done a million fucking times. Yeah. But you could certainly uh, go with that concept if you I have a black pope. I thought my tweet about how he'd already have his fucking, his own purple robes was rather clever. Yes. Oh, else. fuck. I forgot to retweet that one. I better retweet it right now. <laughs> oh, that was a while ago. <laughs> you never know when you don't. I've got to retweet everything Jimmy writes now. <laughs> no, only if I request. Oh, the, yeah, people. It's funny. People, people Me and looked at each other. We panicked yesterday. No, no, no. But all, I wasn't saying people should retweet me. I was saying when I shot oh, a special. Boy. I'm just kidding. No, no, I know, but I want to clarify that too because I forgot to mention this earlier. When I shot a special, I never asked people helping me promote like other comics. When I yeah, shot a yeah. special, I asked for help. Could you please retweet this? Because right. the more people that went and saw it, the mm. better it was for me. Mm. And when people that you are friends with kind of ignore that request, you're like, what the fuck would I have <clears> helped <throat> this person for when I asked them one time to do something and they don't do mm. it? Uh, you got the, uh, Bel Bel I never know how to say your name, Belineski, he's a, he's a good one on Twitter. He writes, uh, all Catholic priests were allowed to get married years ago. Oh, yeah? Uh, but the Roman Catholics changed it so the wives couldn't get money from the church when the priest died. <laughs> yeah, I've heard it was over. Just to wow. save fucking money? That's but that caused all sorts of issues. It certainly did. You can't have a man, uh, you know trying to hold all his sperm inside it's impossible <laughs> the, the, i mean the biology of the of, of man makes it impossible yeah we, but is that true though because the, are they really in those other countries is concerned about spouse isn't that more of an american thing i don't know i'm i, I he, yeah. uh, this guy's usually pretty good for info so that's that's why i just went with it i mean we can certainly look it mm. up and then yeah the orthodox catholic priests do uh, get married and have kids yes yes i do know that Ooh. Uh, here are the steps for the vote tallying procedure. You want to read this, Sam? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> steps for the vote tallying procedure. They, they broke it down and made it a little easier here than what I uh, saw on TV, I think. So this is after the vote's made. So you write down the name on a ballot. Right. Right? Okay. Then you give it to the first scrutineer. Scrutineer. Listen, listen to this. I want to be a scrutineer. They're not fucking around. <laughs> scrutineer. <laughs> so yeah, how do you become a scrutineer? You're a, a scrutineer. <laughs> ah, good one. I know. And by the way, really fast before we move on from it, supposedly the Pope will stay in the Vatican. Really? Yeah. Well, I heard he was going oh, somewhere yeah, else. They don't want him. They don't want him out there yapping. Yeah. Keep him in a fucking dungeon. He's in lockup. <laughs> He's going to be in lockup. Oh yeah. So the first scrutineer takes a ballot. 
notes the name on it, and passes it to the next scrutineer. The second scrutineer notes the name and passes it to the third scrutineer. This might be the committee. The yeah. third scrutineer reads aloud the name on the ballot, pierces the ballot with a needle through the word eligo Ow. at the top of the ballot, and slides the ballot onto a string of thread. Each elector notes the name that is read. Once all ballots are read, the scrutineers write down the official count on a separate sheet of paper. Yeah. The third scrutineer ties the ends of the thread on which the ballots are placed in a knot to preserve the vote. The ballots are placed in a receptacle. How about they get a fucking laptop? <laughs> How about that? That's just, Everything's outdated with that organization. A string really with a fucking right. notebook. You get Excel. Sharpie. Yeah, get uh, something. Excel. Exactly. And then if they don't elect the Pope, obviously they burn the ballots, and that's when you get the, the different type of uh, smoke. Right. They add in a chemical to make the smoke black. Right. What if you forget to add that chemical? Oh, then you look stupid. <laughs> and you only do that every... It's like you'd think you'd have everything down. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of the smoke, how about the guy just comes out? How about they send out a press release or a tweet? Got it. Yep. It's done. Pope Jerry, we said no to. Pope so Jerry. Pope Hank got the gig. We all love holding on to tradition. That's why. Yeah. It's all about tradition. Uh, let's see. Staying in the Vatican so that he won't be prosecuted. What? How is that? Oh, it's because it's another country, technically. Uh, Derek, what do you know about that, sir? Well, the Vatican is its own sovereign country, right? and he mm -hmm. will never leave that place ever again in case anything comes out, because if he leaves it, he will get prosecuted for whatever he did, and you can't have that as a pope or a former pope. It would really tear down the Catholic Church So, if a pope mm. goes to jail. So let's say let's say he uh, murders someone, but he's in this, uh, you well, know, the, this the Vatican country, let's call yeah. it. You can't get at him to bring him up on murder charges? No, they'll never get at him. They won't allow it. Not That's it. crazy. crazy. Exactly. Be crazy if the Pope murdered someone. No, of course. I uh, mean, you know, without... Whatever crime. They're like, look, he fucking committed a crime. We got to go get him. Yeah. How do you do that? Well, do you? They can't. They can't. They can't. They'll yeah. got to go in there like the Mossad. Fucking pluck him out. Yeah, the, the Pope will be... Um, he'll be dead within the year. You think? Yeah. Yeah, they'll poison him. <laughs> oh, yeah, they'll poison him? <laughs> oh, yeah, keep no, his, not keep by his him. yap shut. No, because it's it, it's just thank you, sir. The whole thing is really creepy because he uh -huh. he's they say he's retiring because of old age, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We're seeing him on TV today. He looks absolutely fine. They've talked to people that have basically said he's fine. Yeah, sure. they don't know of any medical issues whatsoever, but yet they throw it out there because of old, you know, advancing age. Yeah, they keep him in the Vatican, and then we'll have a little news story pop up one morning while we're sitting here. Uh, you know, the old pope is now dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then it goes back to well, we told you he was uh, not you know feeling that well that he was <laughs> getting up there and uh, had medical issues. It's too creepy for me. Who's the guy that's got to poison the pope? Oh, I'm Jeez. sure. They, I'm sure they freaking yeah. They're chomping at the bit to do it. <laughs> Some of those ghouls. Me knows why priests can't get married. Didn't we do this one? I thought we did. Let's uh -huh. say hi to Matt. Matt, what's up? Hey, I wanted to clarify what somebody said earlier about why priests can't get married. Okay. Uh, Malachi Martin wrote a book about 20 years ago. He's, he's a priest. He was a priest. Basically, the guy was somewhat right. Basically, priests can't get married because if you're married, you have to have money to keep your family together. And priests were given away deaconships and whatever because, you know, just for the, the want of money. So they couldn't get married. Well, if you can't get married, you can't have sex. So that's why you have celibacy became part of the church. It's not in the New Testament or anything like that. It really was all finances. Mm. Exactly. God, so, like shitheads. So why can't they change that? If it has uh, no, nothing to do with the Bible and all that. Uh, don't ask me. No, I know. I'm just throwing it out there. Because now with lawyers, you, they would absolutely lose money. Back, if back then they would lose money, they would yeah. absolutely lose it now. And a mm. lot of it? Oh, yeah. 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 Sex priests can marry and somebody mentioned it, you know, and it seems to help, you know. Well, this is what I would say to the Catholic religion. It's obviously not working. Yeah, yeah. The, you know, having the priests uh, be celibate guys is not working. So There's now a problem. What? Yeah. Now what? you gotta, you got to figure something out. I think, they, I think there's been a gradual shift. You've noticed that they're all sort of 
subtly allowing other people to work as priests. They might not call them that, but to the same function. So there might be kind of a, a quiet shift. Right. I'm not an expert, but I, I sense that it, it, without, a, without a, an official change of party line. Right. And then I feel bad for the nuns. I mean, I don't know what else they're supposed to do to get the mm. big job. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. What's the big deal? Someone explain why a woman cannot be a priest. Because uh, that's ridiculous, too. Who wants one of them broads to be a priest? Do you? Yeah, sadistic twats, most of them anyway, the nuns. <laughs> they're about to, like, they're, they're, yeah, most, but, a lot of the priests are closeted gay guys or frustrated sexual but at least creatures, you, and the nuns are all vicious bitches. But you, yeah, know, you most, know what they are. Most old women don't want to have sex, so that, that'll right. take care of mm -hmm. uh, part of the problem. Yeah. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> we got a guy that teaches medieval history. He wants to clear some uh, things up. Or is it uh, a woman? Ooh, Nicole. Oh. What's up, Nicole? Hey, guys. Uh, Hi. So, uh, basically, what I wanted to call in and talk to you guys about was uh, the, the clerical marriage. Um, so, I teach medieval history, college level, and part of the issue is um, in the Middle Ages, around the year 1000, there was a bunch of reform movements going on, and one of them was attacking priests being married. Um, so, bishops were not allowed to get married, um, but priests could. And so they basically wanted to get rid of that um, in order to uh, keep them from passing their positions on to their sons. Um, you know, that, that was a big part of it. They did not want any sons inheriting these positions um, and keeping them in the family. That's, uh, that's one of the things that I've always known about and taught. I've never heard of the whole financial stuff before. Um, at least the guy that called in about that or wrote in about that earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. I've never heard that before. Mm. Um, so, but... Uh, I wanted to address the Maya Maxima Culpa video, a uh, documentary on HBO as well. Um, I showed that to my students, um, and apparently people were very offended. I showed like five minutes of that film. <laughs> they were offended? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And, and you, teach, you teach college? Yes, I teach college, and I apparently offended a bunch of my students um, over this. And, you know, I feel really bad. I wasn't, that wasn't the point. Um, you know, because obviously there's lots of abuses in the church in the medieval period. Can I ask you a question? Um, Excuse my interruption. Why would you yeah, feel sure. bad about that? Like, as an instructor, does, as a teacher, doesn't that make you angry that they would be offended? Like, is, mm. isn't that angering? Um, yes, yes, it, yes and no. Um, one, it wasn't my intention. And, um, you know, I, going back to Catholic guilt, <laughs> um, I'm not Catholic. <laughs> I, felt, I felt kind of guilty about that. Um, you know, I didn't, that wasn't my intention at all. I was just trying to make them aware of some of the situations that are happening in the present day. Because, um, you know, I teach history, and history is so relevant, despite probably what half of your listeners are probably saying right now is, oh, history is so boring, who cares? Um, but, yeah, I mean, I was just trying to kind of help them understand Same that a this lot call. of this stuff is relevant. So what, what did you do when they were offended? Um, I can't really do anything because I don't have tenure. Um, but I mean, did you continue playing or did you stop it? Or did you only intend on showing five minutes? It was only, I only showed him like five minutes of the film to kind of help him understand why I think Cardinal Ratzenberg, well, Pope Benedict, Cardinal Ratzenberg, whatever, was, um, possibly resigning. And so we kind of talked a little bit about that and, you know, then we moved on and I gave lecture and stuff. But, um, can I, can I ask you a question about the Ratzenberg thing? And I want to ask a question too. At, at any time, were you worried about your job when they started? I'm always I'm, now I'm kind of worried, yeah. yeah you're like, always afraid as a yeah. teacher because yeah, you, might, you might teach the wrong fucking lesson that gets people pissed off. Yeah, and I've always told my students, you know, before even the semester starts, if I ever say anything that upsets you, at least just let me know. And, and unfortunately, hmm. they didn't. They went, you know, higher up. So but that, but I'm that's what, afraid. That, you shouldn't, I mean, it's easy for me to say, but that's, that's what's wrong where college students are so vomit-inducing, is that they just run into, we, the teacher said something we didn't like. Like, they're, they're, yeah, because yeah. they were, are raised as a, a, now just a bunch of spoiled babies, th they're not up for any dialogue. Like, why wouldn't any of them have just raised their hand and said, hey, look, I don't agree with that, and had a dialogue with Right. You? We really do come from a different world. I would, have, I would have never been offended by something a teacher said. Not like that. I'd be offended no. by the nonsense homework and all that crap, but... <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really frustrating. I mean, I've been dealing with this. Um, I dealt, dealt with it in graduate school. Um, you know, I had, as a TA, I always had these issues where I might say something that was unfavorable. Um, and typically, you know, the, the uh, professor would still, like, give me, you know, back me up a little bit. 
Um, but it's hard. It's hard to deal with. And I love my job. I love teaching history. I think it's fascinating. Um, and, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that this was something I had to deal with. But I've learned my lessons, and I have to... But you didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you shouldn't you have to learn wrong. your lesson. That's what sucks. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just unfortunate. And I, I, I guess I, you learned your lesson, meaning you want to keep your job. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of in the same boat you guys are, too. You know, I, I may have... Um, I may have a, a decent job, but I have to always be conscious now of right. things I say and do. Well, that's too bad. So, Rats, yeah, I'm sorry, when, when the Pope was uh, the, the cardinal who kind of, at the Vatican, all the uh, pedophilia allegations were going through his office, mm -hmm. did, did he want to pursue them more and John Paul kind of squashed it? Or what exactly did, mm. he, did he do there? Well, I don't know nearly as much about present-day issues with, you know, some of the lawsuits that are going on, but watching that documentary film on HBO really kind of made me aware. But the, the, the thing that frustrates me the most is once he became Pope, it doesn't seem like anything got done about it. Like, he never mm. pursued it. And, and like the one guy in the documentary, Jimmy, you'll probably know what I'm talking about, but he said that he, he said, I can't believe a priest would do this, not, wow, we really need to help the victims or, you know, yes. whatever. And it's, and it's frustrating because people think, I'm sure... I can just hear, you know, people saying, oh, it's a conspiracy theory. I'm sorry, but tens of thousands of children coming forward and adults coming forward saying they're abused, it's not a conspiracy theory. Um, it, it happened, and they're covering it up. And it makes me really sad that they don't care about the victims. And how, how long have you been a professor? Um, I'm 27, so um, I've been teaching on my own for a year now. Uh, I just finished graduate school last year. Um, so I taught at a few institutions, like community college level, small, small college level. And, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get really frustrated, and I'm only 27 years old. I'm, right. I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to get a Ph.D. I'm, I'm applying to graduate school again so I can go further, and now oh, I'm just record. frustrated. <laughs> Where do you live? Are you, are, you, are you an East Coast person or a West Coast person? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm, I, was, I was raised, raised in the Midwest, but uh, I live on the East Coast now, and I hate it. I tell you that. Well, I see that's because <laughs> you need the right boyfriend. Oh, no, no, I've been wow. looking for a young lady friend oh, wow. who's got brains and who's got some, uh, who's possibly going to have tenure. I need somebody in my life who's going to have tenure. Tenure. <laughs> Hold on. So, someone, someone is calling you nuts. Hold on. Dave uh -oh. in Cleveland, I'm going to put you on with Nicole in Maryland. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, and Nicole is, uh, is, is totally off base on this. The, the celibacy situation did not start in the, the, the medieval times. It started... Actually, after the, the restaurant? Council of Nicaea, no but it was first like recommended by St. Paul when, in his letters to the Romans that that yeah, I thought that the Corinthians. What I write? I couldn't hear what he said. He said something about it was it was recommended by St. Paul in his letter to uh, the Romans. The letter to the Corinthians, where he was just doing a bunch of limericks and mm. jokes. But the letter to the, the Romans <laughs> was apparently about this, sir. Yeah. Well. But, well, as far as the Bible goes, um, you know, I don't know specifically all the verses in the Bible that refer to it. What I'm mainly talking about is the reforms that happened in the Catholic Church, because priests were allowed to be married. Mm. And then eventually no, they were not. They, they were not allowed. Whoa, never? No, they were not. There were not. tons they, they of were, priests that were married. Allowed. From after the... Uh, well, if they were, they were doing it on their own, but they were not allowed to. They were not. They were. They took the vow of celibacy. Became active around, around, uh, around four hundred. And, and when, wow. he, when are you saying that it became relevant? He's saying four hundred. Well, and, and where's Dave's info coming from? Dave, what do you do that you know all this stuff? Well, I'm uh, very active in my my diocese. I have huh. a history going back. You know, I study diocese. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Diocese. So you guys have a disagreement by how many years? How many years do you think the other one is off? <laughs> well, the thing is, I mean, uh, Opie said that he, you know it's not working. Obviously, this isn't working. Hey, Turks have been around for two thousand years. <laughs> yeah, it it's working because like, no, it's surviving. I, yeah, it's not working right now. It's working. It's working. You had, I like you had the Crusades. Oh, Hold on, sir. I mean, I don't know as much as you, certainly, but it's not working. I mean, the numbers are way down. People aren't going to church like they used to. Do you think the, just in our fucking lifetimes, there's a, a massive drop off on the amount of people going to Catholic church? Uh, Dave, you think this is working? You're, you're, you're wrong about that. You're wrong. Look at the statistics. There's been more people joining the Catholic church, uh, you know, in 
than, than ever. Historically, in the United States, you have more growth going on in the in the Catholic Church. D- you can, have, you have parishes. I have heard nothing uh, about that. I would love to. I would love to see the numbers, Dave. Where can I go to see this? Well, I'll, I'll be happy to, to email it to you. But look, even if you're oh, right, you're, you're not getting right. my email address. Very busy. No, 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 no. But you really think this is working? Like, look at the. It, it's an embarrassment. Like, what people really do see priests and get creeped out. Like, and that's. Well, that's, well, that's because of the media. No, it's well, not. Oh, my there's, God. There's so many, there's, there's I, so I, I don't think he's right. There's so many good people. Yes. And, and the church does so much good work. Yes. I agree with all that. I said that. Yes. Yeah, we did the say that. Uh, the, the way we have hospitals today, the way we have, we have universities. But you, I know. The way we have charity. But why? I, we said that. We did we say that. We said all that, and I agree with you. But the, the way they have, a lot of there's a lot of good deeds that get overshadowed by a systematic covering up of child fucking. Systematically covering up child fucking overshadows a lot of good deeds. <laughs> Oh my God! Wow. You're not I'm not saying this. this at all. I'm not. No, I'm not defending it at all. I'm an apologist. People have to defend their religion. What are, you, what are you talking about? It wasn't little kids. What do you mean? Yeah, you got to explain well, that, the Dave. Part of it was mostly all like you know, sixteen, seventeen year olds oh, that were oh. the ones making the complaints. Well, I'm out of this one then. <laughs> uh, but, but I mean, but I'm, I'm not. Again, and I'm I not, guess that's okay when these guys certainly did not want to have sex with the priest, but it's okay because they were a little older. No, I'm not not defending it at all. It was they were they're were horrible. The thing is, what happened at that time in the '70s? That's what the the <sighs> psychologists were recommending. I mean, that's just a fact. Uh, I mean, what they, you they just, were doing? They were wow. following what the what the right, what was acceptable psychological uh, recommendations. Okay, which was which, as we see in hindsight, was wrong. Yeah, uh, so they Fine. didn't know that. Uh, dude, you, dude, you're saying that the media is pay- it's not a media thing. I know people that have been molested by priests. I, I, I was shocked to hear it when somebody told me that they were abused by a priest. It's not the media creating this. And believe me, the media is terrible. No, the media wants to jump on it because because they they hate the church because of its position on abortion. But do you? Why don't you just do? Why don't you just accept the fact that all of these victims coming out are not just shills of the media? The media can be pigs and they can be liars. Why don't you just understand that the church has to take the hit on this one? And they could have they could have for years stopped this. I have no problem with that. You obviously have a problem with it. No, I don't. It's it's a horrible thing. You just said it was the media. Well, the media is playing it out of proportion. They're different. Like you said, every priest is 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 seem creepy. Because so many of, co- of, of priests, and, and none of them have, have done anything of this nature. First of all, you don't know that, but you might. Yeah. You're probably right. The majority right. of them probably haven't. Yeah, and <coughs> and I, hold on. I said that I didn't. I I wasn't saying as 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 a fact. I was just saying that's my, you know, feeling when I see a priest. Factoid, right? I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of priests doing a lot of good out there. There's, there's, ninety-nine percent of them are. No, no, I wouldn't say ninety-nine percent. No I would way. say a very high percentage, and maybe, but ninety-nine percent, I don't believe it's that. Mm. And the way the church has protected these guys, aren't you embarrassed to be involved with an organization that takes known pedophiles and then moves them from fucking diocese to diocese or parish to parish? That's and won't turn them over to the police. All of them, in hindsight, yeah. But like I said, what do you? Hold on, let me know. Wait, dude, why? What do you mean in hindsight? In what? In what time? <laughs> in what? In what moment of present did the organization not know that child fucking is wrong and we shouldn't send this guy from, say, Rhode Island to Cleveland? When did? When did all of a sudden that knowledge come on to these people, so to speak? <laughs> like I said, all of them were were given any of them that they knew of. We're, we're, we're given psychological uh, right. training. All right, all right. All right. psychological and, and training. Yeah, that again. Hold on, hold on. I got to say goodbye to Nicole. Bye, Nicole. Thank you very teaches... much. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. All right. Who started this whole damn thing? Uh, thank you, Nicole. Uh, we got to go to John, who's on with Dave in Cleveland. He has a question for Dave. John, go ahead. Hey, Chad. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, man. All right. So I grew up, I don't even care. I'll burn it up. I grew up in Ridgefield, Connecticut. Um, we had. One major Roman Catholic church there was St. Mary's, right down by Main Street. Mm. Growing up there, my parents took me out of, like, CCD at 12. I never knew why. Never had any questions about it. I stopped going to church probably around 13 or 14. Years later, it comes out 
that our priest, who drove a nice, you know, Land Rover, Range Rover, whatever the hell he had, he was also fucking 13-year-old kids. Not girls. 13-year-old boys. He used to fuck 13-year-old boys, hands down. He got arrested. He went to prison for it. It's a news story. You can look it up. I want this guy in Cleveland to please fucking explain to me, in any way, shape, or form, how you can even justify... And defend <clears throat> someone who fucks a 13-year-old in his asshole. I never justified anything. I never said they're all scumbags. I, was, I said they're scumbags for no, no. I never You're saying that anything. there's some kind of psychological disputation based on the fact that in the 70s, psychologists were telling kids to tell people they were raped. Are you I'm fucking sorry. retarded? Are, no, I never, I never I never fucking retarded, retarded dude. Are you retarded? Okay. Okay. You, you can't religion, understand. Throw it out the fucking door. It oh. promotes You're, child fucking... Stupid! You're, you're, you're such an idiot. You're not even listening to what oh, I'm saying. I, I, know, I grew up around this shit. Never defended any of that crap. Never okay. defended any of it. Never defended any of it. You are defending you, it. You sound like a fucking apologist the... defender, dude. Mm. I'm not a little apologist. bit, a little bit. And there's so many that have been caught. No, no, a little bit. How many have not been caught? You're such, such an idiot. I've never Keep giving even, your money. I never Keep defended being really it. involved in your diocese, this you goddamn pedophile. Go fuck yourself, faggot. Shut up, you fuckhead. You know what, dude? <laughs> Shut up, you fuckhead. I'm trying to... Explain. No, but dude, you're explaining it away. Like it was this thing of the past, and in hindsight... No, I wasn't. You just I did. Wasn't. Every argument just breaks <laughs> down to... It just really does <laughs> break down into... So, <laughs> faggot, fuckface. Yeah. Dave, yeah. let me ask you. You just did, dude. Were you ever touched by a priest? No, never. All right, no disrespect, but I'm just asking. Well, if somebody did... I would have punched him in the face. Uh, oh, yeah. Nice. The majority okay. of the... You just said that the major, the media made this problem. You're not realizing the fact that as, as an organization, they systematically covered it up. Mm. Why are you not for real addressing that? Well, the way you're addressing that is by going, well, they were older kids, 16, 17, mm. or, oh, well, in hindsight... I'm not defending it. I'm not defending you're it. I'm soft defending it. You're softening it. Yeah, you are softening it a you're little bit. You're softening it. A little bit. It. Whatever, but but I, all I called no, not whatever. No, it can't be a whatever. This is what I called about was I wasn't calling about defending any of that kind of stuff. I was calling to explain why there was celibacy in the church. Okay, all right. well, you, you gave your the idea was that like Christ said, you can't serve two masters. Oh, that, did he really? Oh, just more horseshit. Oh, just more horseshit. It really is. They're just, you know, for the way the fucking Bible came about and how they selectively chose the stories to go in, and this is all... Doesn't it bother you that there's not a lot about Christ's teenage years in there? Doesn't that bug you at all? It's a show called The O.C. that was on. The Bible was, it was his a, teenage a years. document, but it is a, it's, it's a spiritual document. No, but it, 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 to give us what, what, mm. doesn't that bother you? Christ, Christ ministry started when he was thirty. It was a three-year ministry where he taught the world how to live, and, and he put everything. Doesn't that bother you? Uh, yeah, I want, three years. I want to read all the stuff they decided wasn't good enough for the Bible. Yeah, all the stuff that was not the popular I would love teachings to, of the time. Yeah, I would love to read some of that stuff. Uh, Mike in Chicago has something for Dave in Cleveland. Go ahead, Mike. Mike? Hey, Mike. Mike Gay. Nothing? Not. All right. It was similar to the last caller. He, I mean, every every city's calling in now. They all know of a, uh, of a, a priest. Yeah. It's been in newspapers about these, these scumbags, but the vast majority of these men are, are great people who do some wonderful work. Yeah, it's the media, right? Good to the media. The media. Yeah. This was the media. And we've, we said that. I, I, I We disagree with your number that it's 99%. Mm. Well, what, what do you think the number is? Uh, that's a good question. I, I, would, I would say 75 to 80% are really good people, and the other 20%... Wow, that high, huh? Yeah, absolutely. I would give them that many. I would say 75 to 80% are good people. But you know, who's who's the number one offender of, of children, abuser of children? Um, Michael as Jackson? A, yeah. <laughs> as an organization, I would say... You know, just, just, yeah, as, as, a, as, a, as a population, what's the number one abuser? I don't know, to be honest. Parents. Well, Parents. That's not a, no, that's a terrible right. answer. That's not an organization. What's, what's the second most? The Catholic Church. No, no, teachers. Really? They, teachers. they have systematic. Hold on. They have systematically, for centuries, covered up sexual abuse of children. What, come on, man. Stop it. You, you, you're not being honest. No, I'm, I'm, I'm 
insane. I'm, I'm saying there, there's. I'm not defending it. I'm and just, teachers, it's it's, it's they're, and they're, they're scumbags for doing. And it. And by the way, teachers they might not be wrong. By the way, I, I I would I would believe teachers have abused. Yeah, but it's not are, like teachers a are teacher not finds in... out and then covers it oh, up for oh, another yes. teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's a whole school that sends the other teachers somewhere yeah, to another just, town to teach. Yeah, it's you right. know it's a little this... it's a little more complicated than that. But I I don't necessarily mm. disagree with you on that one. They don't have the solidarity Catholics have. They're not all members of this under the exact same umbrella that mm. Catholicism is. Come on, man. Well, but but those numbers aren't correct, though. They're 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 absolutely right. correct. Well, then and your church, you know what, buddy? Of, uh, your church should have done a better job on taking care of children instead of protecting their own financial oh, interests. Oh, yeah, those right. numbers are correct right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You guys should have done a better job, and then your fucking archdiocese in Boston wouldn't have taken billion dollar hits, mm. and then you wouldn't you wouldn't be seen by people all over the world as ugh. Mm. You guys oh. should have done a better job. And, and Dave, well, yep, but it's such a small amount of people. Nah, that, that a lot more than you think. Horrible, horrible. Yeah, that's where we're gonna have to disagree. Yeah, small amount of number, and, bad press, right? Good to tell yourself that. And Dave, I'm gonna now have to uh, unfollow you on Twitter. I'm sorry. That's oh, right. I'm shit. sorry, but it has to be done. Who's now. lead are you taking there, Opie? I don't know. I just think it's the right thing to do. Oh, gee. Uh, someone just sent me the name of uh, the Pope's supposed uh, boyfriend. Really? The same guy that's kind of Sal. Got, same guy that. <laughs> oh. Same guy that kind of has all that inside info that he's been kind of feeding me. Really? Yeah. And there's uh, some questionable pictures with. Uh, look! Look at this one. <laughs> Ooh, that looks nice. They're having a moment. There's a guy that's uh, around the Pope a lot, and uh, some are saying it's his boyfriend. And uh, there's a few few pictures online where he's he's certainly helping the Pope. Oh. <laughs> well, see, Look at this one. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> that's a good one right there. Uh, very fucking nice of him. I think. What? He's helping the Pope. Yeah, I, guess, he's a, I guess it's just windy that day, and he's yeah, got to yeah, make yeah. sure the Pope's... Uh, uh, outfit is uh, is uh, Just hanging so. properly, right? Did you watch that Mia that Mia that Mia couple video? I haven't I'm seen actually, that one yet. Did you, buddy, on Dave? I'm sorry. No, I haven't. Seen Why it. do you watch it? Whether just an open mind, just watch it. Trust me, I've I've, look, I've watched every other uh, special about these things. I, I, uh, I I'm very very sympathetic for for the, the kids who. who yeah, you're uh, sympathetic. Uh, no, it didn't sound that. No, well. you're you're interested no, in you're learning. You're downplaying. You can going, to protect ah, the most of them were sixteen year olds. They wanted it. They wanted it. Right. They were asking for it. Yep. No one's attacking you. Never, never. Nobody deserves any of that. All right. And that was, that, that was calling about. I was calling. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Now we got a we we got uh, Lydia on the line. We haven't heard from her oh in a long God. time. Oh, Remember great. her? Hope she's she, in rehab. She knows. Uh, <laughs> she knows a thing or two about uh, psych stuff. Lydia, you're on with Dave in Cleveland. Good morning, guys. Hello. I haven't called in quite some time. We but know. I, I just became quite incensed. Oh. I am a clinical psychologist. I do not know of Big any. Tits psychological treatments in the 1970s that advocated priests having sex with children. I'm really not sure what to say about that. Nobody ever about. said that. They gave, them, they gave them treatment and said that they were, they were able to you know, fix them of, the, of these, these problems and then move them on to other locations. They said that they were treatable. That was, oh. and it, that was the, the accepted psychological uh, prognosis of the time. And it was ends up being wrong. It was wrong. And it was wrong. It was wrong, Ripley. Right. All I right. hear you. He's uh, saying that the pr crazy priests that are fucking the kids were, um, uh, that they could be cured. Mm. Not the, not the... Not that they prescribed having sex with priests for right, the kids. Right, right, gotcha. right. I All right, gotcha. Dave, we're going to let you go. Thank you for your phone call today. I mean, hey, I, again, I mean, I was not calling to, to defend any of that kind of nonsense. All right. All well, I was trying to do was inadvertently to did. Just, yes. Oh, right. Congratulations. Uh, you accidentally made it look like pedophilia is A number one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I know. It was All a right. joke, you fucking set. humorless bull. We are oh trying to throw God. some... All I wanted to do was... Shut up. All right. We, you made your point. Uh -oh. Thank you, sir. And, exactly. and we're just trying to throw a few jokes into the situation. You wanted right. to call in and say that pedophilia is okay <laughs> if somebody's in a position of trust. I understand. <laughs> so long, Dave. So long, Lydia. <laughs>
Dave uh, made a good point. Dave, well, according to Dave, <laughs> yes, Jim, yes. That, that in the 70s, yeah, the, the Pope decreed that they should psychologically <laughs> teach these kids to shut their mouths because yeah. the priest needed a good place to unload right. and, their, and their bottoms were out. Dave, thank you for convincing yes. us of that. And uh, Rob's got a very good question in Jersey. He really does. Rob, go ahead. Hey there, Rob. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, Rob. Hey, uh, just a question for Opie. Um, I've heard you say before on the air about uh, how you don't like organized religion. Mm -hmm. And uh, you mentioned before that you, you, you take the kids, I guess, you know, the whole family to church. Right. I was just kind of curious on why, you know, what's up with that. And uh, Sure. I, I, I don't think it's up to me to d decide my kids' religion. I, I, I want them to be open-minded and, and, and learn and then, uh, and then let them make uh, the decision. Well, I, if that's the case, you'd have to take them to, to every different well, religion. I, well, so sure, them. sure. I, that, and, and that's where it gets complicated, you know. But I, I'll at least start with uh, the religion I was brought up with. And plus, you know, there's other people around me that influence my kids as well. I'm not, I'm not the only voice. Mm. I do not believe in organized religion at this time in my life. Yes, that's absolutely true. But I have, um, I have a sister. Uh, fuck it. I have an older sister that has has decided uh, to not. She didn't raise her kids religious whatsoever, and decided, you know, someday if they're into it, they could figure it all out themselves. And I think that puts a kid in a rough spot. See, that, that's exactly what I'm doing. Me, me and my wife. I was brought up Jewish, and she was Protestant. Right. And when we got together, we both just decided, you know, to we, sit we both calm. agreed. We, we don't believe in mm. God. We're not. We just don't. And that's how we're raising our kids. We. But we tell them, look, if you do believe and if you feel like that's something you want to do, then go ahead. Absolutely. Go well, check it out. Yeah, well, my nephew and niece, they're now in their 20s, and they, they, they don't even have a concept of religion, they, and they're absolutely not going to study it on their own. I, I figure as a parent, I'll at least push him down a path and then let him figure the shit out and let my daughter figure the shit out. Now, now, Whether it's right or wrong, I don't know. Maybe I should just be like, look, this is nonsense. I do, But I don't want to be that guy that, that goes, oh, I know better. Because I don't, in the end. I don't. I don't. I have no idea if there's a God or not. So I'm not going to say, well, because uh, I'm a little confused right now, that you should not believe in this shit. Mm. Well, let me ask you something. They, let's say they take to it, and they really enjoy going to church. Right. And then they turn around and they say, Dad, well, you know, what do you think about this? Uh, you know, do you think there is a God? Or how come? I mean, they're obviously going to sense that you're not totally into it. Take right. a drag up the cigarette, say, Jesus Christ, and smack them. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I, I hope we have an open discussion about it. Sure. And maybe yeah. maybe my kids will end up teaching me a thing or two about it. I don't know. Right. I yeah, don't know. I think it's, it's I think it's completely ridiculous. You're born into a religion too. Mm. But I don't know how I, el I don't know how else you could do it. But you know, a lot of these religions uh, like you to think it's the only way. Yeah. So if you're not born into that religion, you're fucked from uh, the, the day you're born. But I yeah. think the fact that you guys have um, a, a, a menorah in your house that the kids have to <laughs> boo when they walk out is just very biased. <laughs> it's good to show them a framework of a that's religion. exactly what I'm trying so, to say. And you got to pick one, so you pick the one that's closest to you that you know best. Right. But then after a while, they might say like, "Oh, okay, I know that there's this thing religion out there. I know right. what the basic I, gist is, and if I want to choose, you know, Baptist or fucking Protestant or something later on." Right. Right. They already have that little launching pad. Right now, I'm into meditation, and there's a lot of spirituality in that. Oh, you know, but I don't know if that's the way to go either. I have no idea. I've been mm. into a, I've been to a Baptist church a bunch of times. They have a lot of fucking fun. I've been to a temple. That's just fucking misery. Boy, yeah, that sucks. I know. I, but I, I know don't. That. I, I mean, you're right. You probably should try out a whole bunch of religions, but you know, I mean, that ain't happening. Mm. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's a tough call. I think the whole thing is ridiculous, though. You're born a Catholic, and let's say uh, if, if if there is a God, he's like, no, cat. That's not that's not the one. But then you go look. I gave it my all, though. You gotta give me credit for that, right? You know, you know. Yeah. And then you got the newer religions. They think that's the way to go. Hey, everybody's got their own God. It's, it's kind of. It's kind of weird. But my point is, and Ann made it uh, much better for me, and I appreciate it. I'm just giving the kid a framework, and then yeah. it's really, you know, let him figure it all out. And if he has questions, I'll, I'll tell him what I think and know, and, and, and he'll certainly ask his grandparents and everybody else around him. Right, right, right. Hey, my, village. My in-laws are much more religious than me, and I, you know, I don't really, I don't really mind it. You know, they bring my kids to church a lot more than I do. Mm. So, yeah. I don't think it, I don't think it hurts them. Yeah, my kids, uh, like I said, we're bringing them up with, with no religion, and it's tough for them at school. A lot, of, a lot of the kids in school, you know, they can't even mention the fact that they don't believe in God. 
Right. They're looked, they're looked at like, oh, my God, you know, oh, my God. They look at like, wow, you know, that's uh, how you possibly how could you mm. live like that. Right. So, you, so your kids aren't religious at all? No, not, not in the least bit, no. Right. I don't oh, good. I don't, I don't, little know, devils. They're, 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 and they're great kids, man. They're like, you know, they're really, really good kids. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Even though they're condemned. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I don't see anything wrong with that if that's what you decided, by the way. You know, it's yeah. really up to the individual. This guy uh, is, is piggybacking your your call. Thanks, Rob. Let me go to Noel in Massachusetts real fast. Noel. You rock Kobe. back. <laughs> Kobe. Yeah. I think, I, do you want your kid scared to death for the rest of his life? You know that's what's going to happen with this religion thing, right? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so, because I'm not. I was brought <laughs> up pretty fucking Catholic. I was brought up. I went to religion class at Tuesday nights in some miserable household where they were uber religious. I did it all. I went to I, I went to retreats and everything. So you're trying to tell me that you never have a fear of death, never creeps into your mind, and that you're going to die. I'm scared of death like anyone else, but I'm not not scared uh, from a religious uh, standpoint anymore. No. So do you recognize evolution as a fact? Of course I do, and I will teach so why that. Do you go down that road with your Dude, it's ca- you're right. The whole thing is completely ridiculous. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> He's my got kid, all the answers, though. My kid will not. My, I, my kid will not believe that the Earth is only what eighty years old or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what, Opie? You know what, Opie? I don't think your child is just going to figure that out on his own. I think you're going to teach him that at some point. I'm gonna. You're going to realize that. Religion is bullshit. You're going to notice that your kid is kind of going down a path that you recognize as a bunch of nutty people. And you'll, you'll, you, I think you'll do the right thing. I think you'll do I'm just right going to try thing. to give them. I, the right I think thing. the best thing you could do as a parent, and I'm obviously ridiculously new to this whole thing, is just give them as much knowledge as possible. Yeah, yeah but right now you're letting We're not going to go to a museum and try to, like, uh, reason that, you know, the dinosaurs are only a couple of fucking, what, 100 years old? Yeah, 1930s. So. 1930s. The last one died off during uh, Teddy Roosevelt's time, I think. <laughs> of course well, not. I'm going to give them as much fucking knowledge as possible. That, that's all I could do. It's a very tough thing to shake off for some OP. Some can never, ever break the chains of... Did you? Of were you religion. raised religious, sir? Yes, I was. And then look at you. Lot. So why would you think that you could shake it, but no one else can? Yeah, and I... No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that, Jimmy. You can. But I didn't have a parent teaching me evolution because they didn't, they didn't believe it. They didn't understand it. They didn't have... I, I don't know why. They just didn't believe in it. Well, it's a lie. That's why they didn't believe not. in it. Yeah, well... Evolution's bullshit. Yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I will absolutely teach my kid, uh, kids uh, evolution. That's what I hope you do, man. Because it's it's, no I, I'm not saying there's an easy answer. It's very confusing because they they counter why, they counterdict I don't each other. By yeah. knowing the truth, we know the truth. I don't know, know the truth. Not there's not a human being alive that actually knows the truth. Do you I mean, understand that, sir? Can't handle the truth. Oh, I've heard. I could see where organized religion is bullshit and all that, but I, there's not a human being that right. knows the goddamn truth. You know, in the dude, end. So, some of the we brightest people, sir, 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 some of the okay. brightest people, like some of the greatest physicists, believe in God. It's it's not some crazy thing that all brilliant scientists don't believe. Right. I think like Stephen Hawking, and I, again, I could just be mentioning his name, but there's quite a few of them in, in that world that do believe it. Huh? What? No, you mean Stephen Hawkins? He actually doesn't believe in God. But there are plenty. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did come out and say he didn't. But there are plenty in that in that world that do. It's not like none of them believe as much as they know about science. Well, yeah, they're, but their God yeah, could be. Hawking, he said there's no God. What they believe as God could be completely different right. than uh, okay, what what we know. And, that, and that's fine, and, and, and that's fair, but... We know organized religion is bullshit. So to believe that there might be a God is one thing. To let someone feed this is God to your child is irresponsible. Stand up Ooh. like the, like a fucking man. Ooh. Step up to your uh. wife and tell her, no, my Ooh. child That's is not my wife, you stupid dribble. fuck. No, you don't know the first fucking thing about me, you dope. It's not my fucking day. wife, you idiot. <laughs> Holy you know, fuck, these people that think they know your lives. Shut the fuck up. You said it was family members, right? I'm assuming My in-laws, I said, are more religious than me oh my and God. more religious You're than my wife. Son? And they so bring them to church from time son. to time. And I don't think at this point it's a bad thing. Okay? So don't it's think you fucking know me. 
You idiot. Opie, you can turn it to something really bad. Uh, you know it. <laughs> what am I turning? Could someone explain this idiot to me, please? Okay. I'm lost with this guy. Uh, I said it. I'm just giving him knowledge, and then I'll, yeah. I'll give him as much knowledge as, as possible, and her, my, my daughter, and then they'll figure some shit out on their own. Yeah. I figured shit out on my own eventually. Mm -hmm. if, my, my, if my kids don't want to go to church and don't want to believe in God, so be it. Yeah. That'll be their thing. Just, I'm not pushing religion on them. I'm just fucking giving them this is one thing that people do and believe in, and then let's see where it goes. The parent's job is to give their kid uh, the life starter kit. You give them a little bit of this, that, and then they figure it out and fucking roll with it. Right. The parent's it. job is to discipline a child, <laughs> to punish. Spare the rod, and, well, you go to bed unsatisfied. <laughs> and no one knows. No one knows for sure. Yeah. No one knows for sure. Ah. We know. Dude, you know what? What do you know? Yeah. It don't look good for God people. Like that's the unfortunate I almost I wish they could. You know, Penn asked me, he quoted Christopher Hitchens on something. And he, he said that Hitch, people always say, Well, I wish that there, I could believe in a God again. And Penn said that Hitchens had written something that he agreed with, which was why would you want to believe in a God right. when it's all of this and that and punishing and blah blah blah. But my answer when Penn asked me that was simply because I want to exist. I want to continue to exist. That's why I want to believe that there's something. Because so far in, in life, that's what has told me is how you continue to exist. You go to heaven. Now, I don't necessarily believe in heaven. But I do think there's something after. And it may be totally scientifically explainable. Mm. But I like the idea of existing. And uh it's hard to fathom not existing so we build these ways that we can exist and there may be a scientific way that we do exist but i don't like yeah. the idea of my consciousness just being turned off like a light switch well of course so that's why people say oh, i wish that i want to believe in a god that's why i want but to I, I lean i absolutely lean toward you know you shut down like a fucking computer i do i, lean hope, toward not. That. I hope that's yeah, i hope not either but I, but no one knows for sure and it's it could be some far-fetched be... thing mm. that we haven't even we, we could we can't even we don't even have a concept of yet. Well, that's just it. It's certainly not going to be something that some fucking guys who didn't know anything about science were going to figure out and put in a book years ago. Right. Uh, completely based on a spiritual thing. You know, it's it could be something very scientific and very um, tactile, not so abstract. Right. That actually is that we can't understand. But. I don't, I don't, if that's the case, it's not going to be written in some book from fucking right. a couple thousand years I, ago. I don't believe in a heaven with pearly gates and all that crap. Oh, I no, know. of be course gates. not. You yeah. don't need gates. Let's keep out. All that, no one's know. trying to run out. Undesirables. Oh. I don't know what it is. And I, I, I'm hoping. Mm. Sure, like anyone else, I'm hoping there's something, mm. but I don't know. I don't know. Mm. And yeah, I, 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 I'm not a fan of organized religion, but that's, that's not... Terrible. But you can't do that to your own kids. Let them fucking figure it out. I like organized crime. I love organized <laughs> That's crime. That's cool. Do you believe in organized religion? Were you brought up religious, Jimmy? Of course. Jimmy? Confirmation, communion. I just found communion. I know I've had that for a while. Communion pictures. Mm. When oh. I went to church in Edison. And, uh, yeah, I was very raised religiously. And uh, to my knowledge, never abused in the church. Um, and had decent experiences. Mm. But I just kind of grew to, to dis dislike the organization. And I lost all respect for the organization the more I've learned about it. And uh, mm. I listened to that guy, Dave, who called up. And he's a sincere guy. Do you still have spirituality in your life, though? I need more. Obviously, I wouldn't be jerking off till one in the morning if I was really spiritual. But spirituality is like <laughs> an action thing. It's helping people. Right. It's a different thing than just... I mean, kneeling and praying is... A lot of people would call it meditation. There is something very, very therapeutic about it there's more to it than a lot of atheists will give it it's not just nonsense there's something to it uh, I'm, i don't know exactly what i'm really into meditation right now yeah, meditation is supposed to be great for you obviously as i yell and scream at a fucking caller but that's what i'm into right now but that the you know i'm not preaching that to anybody else it's working for me mm -hmm. so I, good, it's some type of spirituality yeah and they try not to say it's a religion no, it's not. A lot of religions are based on you know, just meditating and mantras and all that shit. I think we needed religion, though. I, I don't think it's just because we're dumb. I think that people needed something above us. That's my theory, because we don't have any natural enemies. So there's, there's no checks and balances with us. 
So what is it that gives us morality? Like, why do people, what prevents us from just piping each over the head uh, and, and raping? And, and like, what, it's, it's this fear that something will happen after. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why'd you point your arm, Ant? Oh, I guess they... <laughs> uh, that was a good visual. <laughs> but that, it, it's the fear, it's the thing that would keep everybody in line. And I think that nature puts that, that, that little gene in us. I don't think that's just mm. a bunch of powerful, greedy people that came up yeah. with that. It's what keeps us in line. Because the idea of, hey, it's just not nice to do that, is not a big enough selling point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there there is something in inside your your person uh, that lets you know it's wrong. It's not like you know you, 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 if if you killed somebody, you get a a bad feeling. <laughs> and some people actually that's good for them. It's a good feeling for them, and they are psychopaths. Uh, but uh, the majority of people know that that's something you're not supposed to do, and it's not just because. It's against the religious law right. or, um, you know, the, the real law, you know, the but law of the land. But I don't know land. about that. If instincts were only, in the, if, if it was only instinct mm. and you weren't taught any morality, yeah. we, would, we would fucking, all we would do is fucking bash women and rape them. We would, no, we have an innate uh, compassion and um, empathy. That, that, yeah. that is something that's yeah, I believe in that. us. Uh, and, and, and it's almost a chicken versus the egg thing. The religion, I think, came from that part of us. We didn't have the religion give us that, uh, sense of morality and stuff. We took our sense of morality and then, and then had to make up some kind of reason that we have it. Okay. You know? Maybe. Yeah, but yeah. I, I think that that sense of morality and the religious thing, I think nature gives you that. Again, it's a checks and balances. You're right. Maybe yeah, we yeah, did yeah. create it to explain this thing, but we have to have a reason to go, why shouldn't I do this? Like, you know, certain th animals don't do this because they will fucking starve to death if they do this. Right, right. Fucking chickens don't run around and go, hey, wolf, eat my ass. <laughs> because they under their instincts tell them that they'll be devoured and wiped off the planet right. if they do that. We have... No natural enemies like that because we can we we're more powerful than our elements. We're more powerful than any other animal. So what's the one stopping mm. thing which tells us don't do this? Ah, it's the the, the big animal or the big starvation, which is God. Mm. That's the mm. one thing that can fucking shut us down, and mm. that's what fucking. But that maybe that's what we made it into. But I think right, that, right. that little piece of needing mm. it was we were born with. Mm. Right. All mm. right. Oh, I don't know. Well, we're not going to figure mm. it out here. I want to be figured well, out by 9.30. Sure. <laughs> you want this? I want all the answers. I want this I want this wrapped up in humanity by 9.30. I want everybody to agree. <laughs> the, the thing that frustrated me about that one caller, because now that I've had time to just kind of mm. digest it, is the fact that he thinks he knows and, and, it, and it should be his way. That's ridiculous. No one knows for sure. No, no. no one knows. Everyone thinks they really have they, it all figured out. They, no one does. Yeah. It's not a human alive that has it figured out. They have their ideas. Yeah. Well, it's like Ant was saying before the show. I mean, oh. if, if the Jews continue to behave this way, <laughs> we're all going to be in trouble. Ant, that was a great point. We'll be right back. <laughs> I love the Jews. <laughs> Keep nice manicured lawns around my neighborhood. Jews are great neighbors. Yes. Dude, great gays neighbors. are great neighbors, too. Jews, yes. Gay, excellent neighbors. Gay the, Jews. It's, wow. It's, wow. It's, a, it's very complicated. Mm. You know, it, I guess it would be very easy to bring up your kids the same way you, uh, with all your beliefs, but I right. don't, I don't believe in that. That's a uh, old school way of raising kids. You think? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty much, you know. I don't know. My dad was very open minded. He he allowed us to do a lot of our own thinking. He didn't mm. say this is the way it has to be. So mm. I, I thank my father for that. I don't want to bring up my kid the way I was brought up. No. <laughs> Uh, that would mean I would be yelling and screaming all the time. Yeah, in my household. So you you just give them knowledge. Yeah, and like you said, you, you have to at least give your kid framework. Yeah, I think that you have to at yeah. least do that. Then they get uh, old enough to figure it out. Yeah, because yeah, they're asking questions. Yeah, ask a lot of questions, and you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say I don't know a lot. You don't want your kid running up a tree when uh, oh god when he starts learning about things in school. Yeah, man, I, I grew up in a household that we just never talked about sex or none of that shit. <laughs> uh, so good. when my dad finally brought it up, I was twelve or thirteen. It was it was creepy. So yeah, I did run up into Get an up apple in tree. That tree. And it was embarrassing when he said, "Just come down. It's not gonna be that bad." Come down. Yeah, if it's not gonna be that bad, then why why didn't we talk about this shit? You know, 
before now. Was he getting graphic about what happens? Was he using dirty words? Like, I got to explain to you what the cock does. (laughs) You know, you've seen chicks cunts before, haven't you? (laughs) He was the worst language possible. uh, He was extremely uncomfortable, and I remember when he was talking about, like, female body parts and stuff. It just just sounded so stupid. And the only reason he did it was because he got the phone call from Washington Drive. Today we're going to show the film, so we're encouraging all parents to try to have an open discussion today. Great. Pour it on him in one day because tomorrow the well, he came jigs from, up at school. He came from uh, the Frank Sinatra, you know, generation. He just missed the Beatles, yeah. and, and that was a big difference if you mm-hmm. think about it. I bet you your dad was a Beatles, guy. not a Beatles guy, but came from that, you know, that that genre. Well, he kind of was more of a ba 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 banger dang dang. Well, that's rock and roll though. Jacket and fucking yeah, that's rock yeah. and roll though. That's my dad, you know. I guess he learned to understand rock and roll a little bit, but he was Frank Sinatra, uh, Sinatra, Perry Como, all those guys. Mm. Those guys absolutely thought differently. Well, all he cared about is that I didn't grow up a queer. (laughs) A quay. Would he be disappointed? (laughs) (laughs) Son of a bitch.